Hi everyone, and today we'll be teaching you about pie charts. Okay everyone, so let's write the date and DQ in our books before we start. Okay, so let's run through some things that we need to know about pie charts. So, firstly, you need to make sure you have a protractor and this you will use when you are drawing the pie chart. When you make your pie chart, it needs to be 360 degrees, a circle, and your data should be put into a table before you draw it. After it's been put into a table, you're ready to make your pie chart. Okay, so before you make your pie chart, you need to have your information ready to put into a table. So this table I got from Maths Fun, and it should look like this. Here the category is favourite type of movie and numbers have now already gone into its categories. After that, you divide each value by the total and multiply by 100 to get a percentage. Now that we've done that, we have to figure out how many degrees for each pie slice. A full circle has 360 degrees, so we have to do this calculation. I'll put the tables up now. So here are the tables and I hope it helps because it's not so blurry. Okay, so let's draw some of our own now. So now I'm drawing a table for my information and please make sure that you're drawing this with me because it will really help. And I'm sure yours will be much neater than mine anyway. Mine is very untidy. I'm not drawing mine on paper, so it's very difficult to draw. So I went ahead and put the titles in and now I'm going to write the numbers out. So 6, 7, 1, 4 and 2. And the total for that is 20. So now let's write in what we need to do. So 6 divided by 20, 7 divided by 20, 1 divided by 20, 4 divided by 20, 2 divided by 20 and that's it. Then after, we'll write down the answers. So the answer to the first one is 0 0.3 and 0 0.3 as a percentage is 30%. And for the second one, it is 0 0.35 and as a percentage, that's 35%. And for the third one, it's 0 0.05 and as a percentage that's 5% and for the fourth one it's 0 0.2 and as a percentage it's 20% and for the last one it's 0 0.1 and that's 10%. So well done for those of you who got those right. Okay so I've shown you this on the PowerPoint when I was giving you some steps through so now this is one of the last ones. So I've got 6 divided by 20 times 360 7 divided by 20 times 360 and make sure you use um, paper because I used it without paper and it was very difficult and also make sure you're following along because um, we'll be doing some on your own soon so let's carry on so 4 divided by 20 times 360 and then 2 divided by 20 times 360. So try on your own to answer these questions. Okay, so this is the last one and then we can start doing our pie chart. So, so the answers, I hope you tried because it's quite easy. So it's for the next one it's 18 degrees and then 72 degrees and then 36 degrees so i wanted to say well done for those people that got the answers right i can't do it on paper for this video so i got a website so i just typed up the degrees and it made the pie chart for me but you should be drawing it yourself and using a protractor this is what it should look like 
So I'm going to be attaching my work that I did in this video so that you guys can always go back and see how I did it. Now I'm going to see if you have understood this topic. Here are your numbers to create your table with. I'll be running through this at the end but this is independent work. When I was working them out I realised that they were all recurring numbers. So what I'd do is round it to the highest decimal place and then I would turn it into a percentage. Okay, so mark your answers and if you've got any wrong, just write the correct answer next to it in a different colour pen. And make sure you have a title for it as well. And I'm sorry I forgot to tell you that at the start. So make sure you remember that. So here is the pie chart. And if you got any wrong, make sure you draw a new chart in a different colour to show that you're trying again. And also make sure you have a title. I'm, again, I'm very sorry that I forgot to tell you. Okay, so make sure to write yourself a what went well. So you maybe celebrate your success and an even better if so. Say what you have done wrong and how you can improve that. Okay, so now I'm going to give you one last question. So this one was a lot bigger than I thought it would have been. And I'm very sorry about the writing being really untidy. It's very difficult to write on something like this. But if you didn't notice already, it was actually the first question, so I'll leave the tables. The reason why it doesn't have the headings on the image is because I used different headings to the website did. Here is the pie chart. Make sure to mark your answers. Lastly, the reason why we worked out the percentages is so we can put them on the pie chart, so make sure you do that. Thank you for watching and I hope you understand this topic. Very sorry that you couldn't get very good diagrams. It's easier for you to see my work without using paper. Thanks for watching.